So if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what does a 2500 HD with a six liter LS get in fuel mileage? Well, a few weeks ago, I did an extreme test going down to Florida and here it is. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are headed to Florida. So Bernie was still loaded up from the dyno the other night of making some first pulls with nitrous. And now we are getting ready to head out and head to Florida. 28 hour drive from Colorado. With minus the two hours you probably lose because of the time change and all that type of stuff. So we got a huge long drive ahead of us. Uh, we'll see how the old six liter does on fuel. Usually not the best, but uh, we're gonna head that way. I'm actually going down to film Doug at the 2.4 hours of late mullets. And then the following weekend is the Cletus and Cars uh, down there at Bradington. Gonna do some burnouts there with Bernie. So finally getting to use this thing for what I intended it for. Uh, so we're gonna get in the truck, stop and get some gas, and head out on the road. So just zeroed out the trip meter, zeroed out the fuel mileage reader, which I'm gonna probably calculate manually a few times throughout the trip to really see what it gets. Put the mile per hour on there so I can keep an eye on it. It is 652 in the morning, and we got a whole lot of driving to do. For anybody that wonders, that's where I used to work. I used to inspect and weld the big uh, towers on the turbines. And driving past that to head to a job in the automotive industry, much, much better. Made it into New Mexico. Not doing the greatest, nine miles per gallon. Uh, but we had some passes like Raton Pass and stuff like that going over into uh, New Mexico here. So a few miles down and a whole lot to go. So based on the truck, we got 9.8 miles to the gallon. Let's see if I can find my trip meter. We got 319 miles down and we'll see what we get with gas. Uh, it's actually probably 321 because I clicked that on a little late, but uh, that'll give us a good idea and see how it's doing. Leaving Colorado wasn't doing great. Oh, and by the way, welcome to Amarillo, Texas. So uh, that'll be the first stop along this journey of many more stops. So the truck wasn't too far off, but a little bit. Uh, calculate off mileage actually. Let's go ahead and add those two miles in that I forgot about. 21 got right at 10.03 miles per gallon. So not, not too bad, I'll take that. Uh, with the enclosed trailer, it gets like a little over eight. With the open, definitely a little better, over 1,800 miles. That's actually a fair amount of cost savings, even though this thing's still gonna cost quite a bit to fuel. <laughs> Well, made it 250 the next stop, but little pave thing here is messed up, so you had to prepay for a certain amount, so I wasn't completely able to top it off, but the little uh, gauge is pretty close, but had this had this guy stop right here and knows me from the channel. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Tiny, tiny little town here in Texas, and dude, I watched the channel. Didn't know, recognize the truck, so pretty awesome. Uh, back on the road we go. I don't know where I'm at, some little, little town in Texas. So, we got a long ways yet to go. I think we're uh, about nine hours in at this point. And, uh, you know, about 19 to go <laughs> total. So, back on the road. Was doing decent on time till I hit Dallas Fort Worth traffic. Yeah, I was looking at this earlier and I was wondering if I was gonna hit rush hour and bam right in the middle of it. Looking like, uh, so it's six back home. Uh, so pretty much almost seven here. Trying to just get through it. Last little part going through Dallas right here, down the middle of it. Unfortunately, I'm sure there, I would think there's a better way through here, but we'll get through it. Thanks, Google. Well, good morning, everybody. Made it to this little Super 8 right across the Mississippi River in Mississippi. So it looks like 11 hours and 23 minutes remaining. <laughs> Better get on the road. So that puts me into Florida sometime around 7.30 tonight, which is a lot better than, you know, the midnight that I got to here. Uh, so that was my goal to make it at least halfway and get on the road. So we'll check the straps. They keep, they keep scooting up, it seems like. So at least another one here. Seems a little better. Should be good to go look at that new deck though i'm wondering if this t this tire doesn't have a little leak in it so i uh, have to check that when we get there maybe get some air put in this thing old bernie already 292 and a half 292 and a half it's 9.75 miles to the gallon so there's been some rolling hills and stuff out through here 
uh, down through Texas. It got probably 10.1, 10.2. Uh, and then, like, because the gauge is actually pretty accurate in this thing. Let's see. Yeah, so 9.75, and this is saying 9.8. So the gauge is pretty much right on it. So beginning of the trip, you know, I saw some 8s, 5s, and then by the end of the tank, it was up in that, that 9.7 range or whatever we saw there yesterday. Uh, and now it's pretty consistently 9.8 to 10.0, depending on uh, the roads and kind of how many hills I got to pull up and stuff like that. So, I mean, pretty decent. It's a little 6 liter LS pulling a LS powered burnout truck. Ooh, headed to Florida. This is a trip. <laughs> Big old tunnel goes down. I don't know what's over me right now, but uh, yeah. This is right after you take the turn to come into Pensacola, Florida, or towards Pensacola, Florida, I guess. I'm not sure how far away I am, but I think we're getting pretty close to Florida at this point. But Florida's a big old state, and it's going to look like we'll probably have a good six to seven hours of driving in Florida still yet to get to Bradenton. Entering fog. Huh. I don't see no fog. Ooh, I see a bunch of water though. We're way down south at this point. Just missed the Florida sign, but we're here and I think I still got like seven hours to go. Big old state here, so let's see. Six hours and 59 minutes from the uh, Florida line. Look at that, another gas station stop. So we are here filling up. I forgot to uh, reset my trip meter last couple times. Uh, but on the deal here, it's saying like 9.6 beginning of the trip, you know, getting around 10 ish. Now it's getting, you know, even earlier when it said 9.6, 9.7, it was like 9.9, 9.8. So high nine mile per gallon towing probably a 3,000 ish pound truck and a 2,000 ish pound trailer. Uh, so about 5,000 pounds all the way from Colorado to Florida. So, I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. 2,500 gas, I mean, it's definitely not great on gas, but if you think about a diesel costing 10 grand more, plus the def, and they get probably 13 or 14 miles to gallon the new one, one's towing, uh, maybe better than that. Maybe that. Maybe this light trailer would get 15, 16, I don't know. I think they only get like 17-ish anyway. Uh, they're, not, they're not great, and then when you add in the cost of def, it probably equals out, and usually diesel being a little bit more. But uh, otherwise, I mean, the truck does great pulling it. It's just like through this last little bit, there was a lot of rolling hills. So when I downshift and pull up the hill a little bit, it's where you lose a little bit of gas mileage. So top it off one last time and finish this thing off. Well, everybody, we made it. I think it's 1,833 miles or something like that. And we ended up at nine and a half miles to the gallon. But uh, learned something a little bit there. If you guys think about a truck like this or whatever, I mean, it does the job and it saves some money over a diesel. But anyway, also do not be afraid to like Get in your truck, load up your car, grab an open trailer. I mean, you can be buy these things for fairly cheap and travel out to some events, meet some new people, go try some things, and all of that if you're in the automotive deal. Like, the, go go out and enjoy some events not local and uh, thank me later. It's a blast. It's a long drive, but this next week's going to be amazing. Uh, I cleaned cars with the burnout truck. I cannot wait. Super stoked to finally use it at the event that it was designed to go to. So we'll see how we do uh, when we compete with everybody else. So thanks for watching guys. If you wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.